health bar. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Let's see. Emotes. Emotes. Did I do that again? I forget. I forget exactly how to do that. This is now. Yeah, that did lead to punch. Hmm. Well, there it is. Hold B. Let's, um, wave. There it is. Alright, everyone. This is Arc Survival Evolve. We're at the center. I did my best to, um, repurpose how I started off and get a house built as you can see it's still gated in double doors did my best to recreate what I already had so I have my GM that's my husband run out and regather me a brand new herd so as you may really collect recollect we had a tech Stegosaurus, a mated pair of Triceratops, really decent level. We used to have a tech pair, so sort I of lost it. Um, my GM, my game master, thought it would be good for me to have one back and went overboard on some presents for my live streams. We have our Dilophosaurus, uh, the Dodos in the uh, house itself upgraded fully to wood which has now been unlocked and uh, he found for me, us a tech raptor they're desperately trying to spawn in raptors found a raptor and tried to find a mate found a mate so the first one will be given thinking of some names for the raptors and uh, this one of course the exception to keeping this one was the name her it's a female oh wow one punch after the one punch anime it's japanese cartoon japanese japanese yes i believe so and then we also have um to get around to bring if we need to bring something home quickly because i died for example we have to hover skip you know i can't remember if i remember to put a bed down i may have to put that down today and okay the gifts for the water adventures look at this lovely red spino she i believe is rather nice she spawned in at 75 and right now i thought we could game give her a nice name for now we'll figure out something else later but after the color, I thought it looks as lovely as the stone. Call her Ruby for now. Right. Forgot my stairs were over here. Alright, we're gonna run back up here. I am not in leather hide armor. That'll have to come again later. And I need boots again and gloves. <laughs> and as you can see, we're on day two of the island here. We've got everything lit up and it's all friendly. You can see it's friendly. I'm checking for eggs real quick. And then up above, my husband actually found one. And then as he was exploring, getting some food for the tech raptor, the second one spawned in. So here's a tapajara. This is a male that was found, and I just want to show you the difference. This is the tech saddle and a normal saddle. That way you can see the difference. And this one was spawned on the beach. No kidding. Down that way. Spawned on the beach. Couldn't believe it. Now, it's hard to see it here, but I'd like to demonstrate. So let's just see. Options. Oh, no, accessory. Sorry. I want to take off the saddle so you can see here. The coloration 
on the back is unique. So what happened was each of these tapa jars is a rare skin spawn in. So it's a rare rare if you will. And they move effortlessly in small places. They're really something else. They cannot go backwards, so keep that in mind. Whew, that was close. Alright, let's get your saddle back on. And I'd like to show the skin. Now this one, I was talking to find out what exactly it is. This one is unique and that has a coloration like a cartoon cartoon skin so let's just pull this back like this there you can see the coloration speckled and you could really get the details of the wings let's just get in a careful circle here try to turn slowly brilliant red and a nice hunter green. And let's try to slow down. There we go. And then again. And now this is the other saddle and since we'll aim out this way. This way? No, oh, other one. There we go. So we have that. Grab, carry, attack. Uh, stamina all of a sudden. Back up here. Neutral to stop all. Neutral for everybody on neutral. And so now I can just climb down. There we go, and as you can remember, there was a front and a back entrance. I've taken liberty in making sure this is all as closely accurate as what we had before. I've got to get out and get some supplies. And let's go ahead and beef these up. This is uh, the female. The female to able to carry a lot and be hit hard and move quickly 400 speed there we go have her eat some food just get these all prepped Hopefully this is working, and again, this is the male, so I want him to be a nice overseer for the female. And be able to carry some, he has to keep up with her in spade, there we go, and again, feed him. Oh, they're my go-to's right now, so I really want to make sure everybody's in tip-top shape. Well, let's get the carnivores ready to go out. We need to go get lots of more food. I do need to carry a little bit of hide with me. 
So with the Dilophosaurus, you want to get them health, stamina, a little oxygen. Make sure that they don't run out of weight and become encumbered. So it's good to give them a little bit of weight. You want to give them lots of melee. Maybe a point, a point on speed. They're actually fairly quick. Don't need to worry much about that. I like to make sure all my tames have at least 300 oxygen to keep them from drowning in uh, water scenarios. It's just good measure. Stamina is needed to continuously battle, so keep that in mind. Save you some points for more health as you get some food. <laughs> there we go. We'll deal with you later. And of course, with the raptors, they need lots of stamina, a fair amount of health. Already at 1000 health. This is a level 202 raptor, so really don't need lots. Add, want to add that stamina in. Should be able to carry me in case of emergency. 300 should be doing for now. And a little bit of speed. And lots of melee. Lots of melee and lots of stamina. Want them to be able to at least 1,000 if possible. So now she's good to go. Give her some more melee and some more help. He is gorgeous. Little hop, I love it. I'll save you another point. You got that. Stamina built up there. Good. Alright, good to go there. And I need to go get some water. About that in a moment. This is the female tech. I have one female and one male tech. So, with the parasaurs, they are quick. And they can carry a lot. You want to make sure to match that that they have a good amount of stamina and some decent amount of health. So that puts the tech up to level 109 and the male is down at level 62. A lot to contest with. for some more health. Let's see, your speed is at 258. Mm. 
matching so they're matching now good all right i'm gonna leave it at that for right now and our stegosaurus of course bit of speed on all of them at least one point on speed on every dinosaur just because all right we are good there i gotta look up the spino again if i'm not mistaken speed and health is the main thing for a spino they have serious durability mostly hp i believe i'll check again so basically, if you don't know, you can look at the spawn statistics. We'll just show you how to do that. And the first thing you do, what is the highest number other than, say, food and weight was the second highest number that you're going to find. And on this already, the HP is really high. And then we have the Malay movement speed separate below just below the weight and you can check those and you could see at a glance that the movement seed is better than the Malay but it is a set figure so now we're looking at the Malay oxygen stamina health and we can see exactly what to expect so we're going to give it a little bit of weight and I can tell already that it has uh, that it is a HP tank and a movement tank preset for a movement tank. So we are just going to add health, stamina, so that he can stay up in the air long periods of time. And carry a lot. And some more damage. And we'll set this one the same. We'll pick up some names later for her. Some health. Stamina to stay up long periods of time. And then we carry some more weight. Malay damage 300. That's actually good right now for the flyer. This one to carry quite a bit. It's level 132. Mm -hmm. Lots of stamina. Alright, almost 700 stamina. Okay, we'll leave it just like that. It's only level 31, so there's some serious statistical differences there, but you get the general idea and I'll just show you the spino statistics of spawning and again keep in mind it's not a cap out level dinosaur but I think you might be impressed by some of the statistics for the spino so we we'll just go to inventory and you will see right here off the get go we can look at this at a glance and see that it's hard to get their torpidity down. They're really quite a sturdy dinosaur. That's the water type. And it can also go on the land, obviously. But mostly water. It excels in the water. It has a good 2,500 HP already at level 75. Has 800 stamina. Over a thousand oxen can stay in the water for a good long period of time. Food is good for thousand. Can carry four hundred pounds of weight. Malay damage really um, about average. The movement speed heightened though it only says one hundred percent. It's very fast. Then excels at speed. Health and stamina thrives in the water and carries an okay weight. We're going to work on the speed, get a little more damage, but carry a little more weight.
Don't want to worry about oxygen. We don't want to worry about stamina. We want that health to just excel. One more on the weight right now. I want to make sure that it can carry me and some drops. And the speed, of course. And that's my research. <laughs> I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved long enough to know that at a glance, when, when a dinosaur spawns in, once you tame it, you can just look at the statistics right away and have a general idea of how it's going to be affected the rest of the game simply by observing its spawn and statistics. And you're looking for the top two to three stats, and that's what you want to focus on for that dinosaur to have it excel. Or you can just level it up according to your own standards for, say you need it to be a pack animal, extra storage, maybe you need it to um, attack and be, or be defensive. It's completely up to you. This is a really very full customization for a single player, player versus environment, or player versus other players even. Thank you. I'll go put that up. I got an egg. <laughs> Eggs are good for making special food for dinosaurs, special dinosaur treats, or for in some cases if you want to take the time. Hatching a baby dinosaur. Eggs also can store individually for a fixed amount of time, so always keep your eyes on the timers. Because they will spoil, like any other real food. Alright, oh, I was setting up torches. I got a torch there, a torch here. Okay, now there should be patch. Here somewhere. <laughs> so there will be a light there all the time. Make sure that is full, more or less full. Come out here, put one here by the door. I'll light up this area. There you go. And go get some more. That's have to shut the door. <laughs> I think I would like to put some just outside on each side of the gate. There it is. One, two. Yes, I have levels from running around checking out the map. So this is where we spawned at uh, South 2. You can see right here the U-shaped island. We've got the shield-like island. and There's the central area. And then uh, several other outer lying islands. And a center of the center, if you will, where the the boss comes into play. That is something we will essentially be building up to is some boss battles. How much can I carry? Again.
Oh, I have enough. Okay. Uh, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's grab up the spare a little bit there, and we're good to go. Got a little bit of hide. Let's go ahead and leave this here. I don't know what's going on here, but okay. Alright, now I'm going to try to check on the my live stream real quick. Hopefully it is working. Going to reconnect to chat. Okay. Right. So let's get everyone moving. I'm going to have to do follow one at a time. Make sure this works correctly. Good. Um, we need our little meat collectors. <laughs> to collect meat and to collect hide. And for protection. All right. To get the help that you need, stamina. For now. Okay. Our health, I believe, was 153. Speed, try to make sure this all kind of matches up. Good for now. More health, just for now. all good. Oh, did I tell you to follow me? Oh, no, 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 no. I said follow. Follow. Okay. And if you have some food, you good. All right, and now we're good to go for now. Just like so. In the wrong way, didn't I? That's okay. Come along, everyone. Triceratops got hung up somehow. Come on. Come on, everyone. Okay. Out this way. Come on, everyone.
I guess chat doesn't want to work, so I'll just close that out right now. <laughs> right, moving on. Alright, so we should have three dillos, three raptors, two triceratops. Alright. Leave the tax home, other tax home for right now. I know it's laughable. I don't I don't have a weapon at the moment. It's pretty funny. <laughs> so I need to construct something to use as a weapon. <laughs> I really I really like bow and arrows. I can do a decent amount of job damage right now. I said job. I meant damage. I meant damage. <laughs> Right, now I'll need um, some more. What is it again I needed? The arrows. Fiber, flint, thatch. I need, I need a lot of flint. Okay, I need some flint. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to put everybody in neutral. It's getting dark. I need some more flint. So I'll just bang on this right now. I think the pick gives me more flint. Alright, let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so let's stick with the pickaxe. Okay. Ooh, metal. Lots of flint, lots of flint. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Not really worried about stone right now. I have plenty of stone right now, so I just need a little bit. I don't even need it for the episode yet. So. And I don't need it to be aggressive for just this one bit. So I hope that mine, uh, the ones at home, didn't hear. I believe I was just far enough so they won't come. Okay, we're just gonna gather some more food. Let them level up. And oh, here's a monkey. Hey, how about that? It's a female. it say come here little one this says all right calm down I won't harm you shoot <laughs> continuing on don't mind having high levels taken out. I like lower levels for taming, so... There's all... There we go. Alright. Speaking of that... Ooh, literally shaking things. This one is a 25, it's a low level, but I need stuff taken care of. Beautiful rock formations, beautiful way, just, just beautiful, okay? Beautiful. <laughs> this place is stunning. I like to see on my way back, so I'll just do this. And make another one. I'm gonna have to. Apologies. Make another torch for outside. Okay, I'm not gonna go after a bird. I do that. Alright. 
bunch of dodos. Is this what I think it is? It is indeed. You're a low level. Once you live, we'll try to tame you at a later day. So I have to have all this right special ingredients, some prime fish on hand, some prime meat cooked up, a whole bunch of things. That's what's needed. I avoid dodos if I can. You're common enough. Female. I need female. Wow. That's enough on that end. Darn bird. Okay. We might come across something worth catching. And one back up. So many birds. Uh, the kind of birds I don't. have mates so you have to be careful well, it'd probably be a good idea to head back soon I can't help it some things are just all right, it's another one. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get our supplies. Oh, I'm out here. And time to head back. It is actually night. night. Dangerous dinosaurs, alphas, non alphas can spawn at night, especially being here on the beach, more inland. I do not wish to tempt fate too much, so we will hurry back to the fortress.
need some more. Okay. It's heavy! Help! Thank you. Alright, little one. Let's make it a little easier on me. Also, I need to make sure that I get ample food for you. Not what I was trying to click on. The triceratops. There we go. And everything else is good. Let's just give you more HP. Make it easier. Go ahead and have the major berries with deliciousness. Get your health back up in case we need it between now and the gates. Never know. Sometimes the triceratops and your carnivores will be what saves your life. So, take these. Let's go. That's what I'm missing, torch. <laughs> All right, and I can now make some shoes. I need some more hide for gloves. Okay, okay. That should be a problem. I'm guessing somebody here probably has some or not. All right, who has some meat to share? Yes, you, you have some meat to share. This is the male. I want the male to protect everybody else. Perfect. Wait a minute. Oh, there's the other one. 
There she is. Let's get back home. I'm gonna finish my water, collect, put everything on neutral, try to as Anyway, one of these days I'll see again. I think just put some berries in the last spot, feeding spot, and came that way. Now, it's a passive taming, as I recollect, to get a Mesopotamian. Anyway, the creature like us, similar to a monkey. Ancient monkey. Okay. I'm going to do this. Oh, well, I still opened it outwards. Can't see. Whew. Well, something spawned and ran after us. Not the most intelligent thing to do, I'll say. Oh goodness. Everybody wanted to come help. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everyone wanted to come help. I appreciate the offer. Oh, I have a triceratops stuck. All right, all right, all right. I'll get my triceratops in. Come on, my triceratops is feeling confused. Come on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We'll go check on the other gate. Round we go. caught me off guard, but not entirely problematic. Well, the drop that was over here is gone. This way, everybody. We're coming to put a light down here. There we go.
That's not what I meant to do, but okay. As long as you have what's needed, you can make repairs on the guy. that in mind. There's a drop coming. Not sure I can get to that, but I might be able to. down the beach. Don't want to go that far alone. Or with too small of a herd, something were to come. But waiting until full morning, I'd lose drop, so... It's a... Uh, challenge. But I thought, since we're out here... Alright. this one back up here uh, I'm not doing this correctly no! And out loud. Oh, good grief. It's hard. <laughs> Come on, all of you. Let's take you all up the stairs, Lordy B. <laughs> oh, good grief.
There you are. Too steep for even me. Ooh. I'll have to go get the Dell off the swords. <laughs> Of the Lophosaurus. So I'm sure it's looking out right about now. You poor thing. Come here. That's right. There we go. I don't think anybody else got lost. Pretty sure nobody else did. Got everybody wrapped up here. Come on. Oh, goodness. Anyway, about that drop. Three raptors, one, two, and three. One tech parasaur. Two pet parasaurs, one triceratops, one stegosaurus, and the second triceratops, and the two other dilophosauruses. Let's get the rest of you lined up behind me. I can grab the other three, I believe. Follow, follow, and follow. This worked out now. This way, everyone. It's gonna get morning. Go this way. I saw goodness way out of the way. Oh, well, that about concludes our time. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Got a few parasaurs here. Nice. Let's see. Level 25. Hate to leave one alone. I thought I saw something huge in those trees just a second ago. Level 135, I'll let you two stay together. There's a parasaur. Alright, don't see anything else per se. 
Oh, I was looking for some drops. Alright, let's head back. Let's give you some more speed. Poor little buddy. Oh, you need some berries. There you are. Wondered how you got stuck. What is going on? Hmm. What do they do to these dinosaurs? Come on. Come on. Thought I was missing someone. Should be getting berries. What's going on? Instead, it seems to be different now. That's strange. Almost as if things are not quite working here. Mostly wood. Okay. I guess I'll have to manually get some berries for you since I've got so much other stuff going on. Right, we're working our way back home. Um, it used to be when the um, Stegosaurus swings its tail, you would get a goodly amount of berries just like that, but now it's actually for. Um, that I stop. Now the poor thing's getting all kinds of wood. And really nothing else, just wood. That's a bit disturbing, but okay. I don't mind grabbing some berries. I'll uh, do that. Something seems to be a bit off about going on here so I'll have to look into that see if maybe this world just tweaked out or something because see all those green arrows should have stopped I'm not sure what's going on I'll have to go look at my world and see what happened oh the problem also, I don't normally have the day and date and all that displayed continuously. Um, it's been so long since I've been on ARC, I may have activated something I didn't mean to have up. Oh, I'll find out after the stream. There we go. Oh, you needed berries too, little one. Right, because I wanted you to get some more help. Okay, berries for you, just in case. How much weight can you carry? Got 700 pounds. Come forward, everybody. Getting so very full. <laughs> Mixing out. There are you. There you are. Perfect.
to fly our enemies, most likely. In any case. Ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. They're used for home. These little bushes, especially the one with flowers, have some really unique berries and a good amount of flowers. Good then. Okay. Interesting. Inner cave working so it's so please. Let's, uh, <laughs> one other time. Alright, now while we're up here, we have two triceratops. One, two, I see the tail of the other three raptors. One stegosaurus. And one, two, three dilophosaurus, I assume. Get everybody this direction. Spread out. Make sure there's nothing inside. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and one. Don't take anyone else, right? That's what I remember. Close the gate. We're good. Got some supplies, got some seeds, got some berries. Everybody got some meat. So that's Grand. I love that. There, I told you to stop. Stopped, right? Okay, good. Alright, everyone. This is Snow Queen 381, also known as MMO Gaming. I will see you next time on Ark Survival Evolved. Thank you, and have a pleasant day wherever you're at. <laughs>